Hey guys, Jaleesa Raquel checking in with Sheen Magazine and we're behind the scenes today with the one and only K-Count for a special night for an unplugged series where you're going to be going and performing some of your most viral songs mm -hmm. in an acoustic format. So I'm super excited. Um, everybody knows about your versatility from trap anthems to R&B ballads, man. You do, you do it all and you've been doing it for a minute. Um, when it came to you selecting your songs for this and what was the process like, and as far as this format, how did you prepare? Um, it was easy. You know, I got a lot of songs to choose from, but I just wanted to do the ones I knew was going to hit. You know what I'm saying? The ones that got the most vibe. And, you know, I lost my, I did two tours here, so my voice is, you know what I'm saying, kind of harsh. So I try to do songs I ain't got to do too much on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I try to just vibe it out. Yeah, I love that. And I was literally going through your uh, records trying to see, like, what seven songs do I think he's going to select? Um, comfortable? No, no comfortable. Okay, so we going newer. New and old. New, new, new and old. Mm -hmm. What about cut that bitch off? Man, when I say that was my college anthem, <laughs> spring break, baby, we was cutting everybody off. <laughs> so okay, so we got we cut that bitch off. Uh, blessings? No blessings. Okay, so tell me about this selection. How did you do this? Because you do have a very, a very big... <laughs> you had to just wait and see. You know what I'm saying? Wait for the vibe. <laughs> yeah. And see, over this period of time, because you have been doing what you've been doing for a long time, but you spoke in your interviews about you constantly wanting to switch things up, whether it's your style, mm -hmm. your name, yeah. your branding. Yeah. Um, you like to switch things up and you like to evolve. How has that, you know, helped you continue to grow your fan base after all these years? To me, I feel like that's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't look like last year. You look like last year, folks gonna treat you like last year. I like to, you know what I'm saying, switch some shit up, maybe change my hairstyle, get in the gym, slim down, tone up, or add a piercing, add some more jerk, you know what I'm saying, add some more tattoos. It, it don't matter what it is, it's always, it's all about elevating and just changing your, your look up. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, and it, it's been working for me. I love that. And um, we know you've worked with a lot of amazing artists, especially in the city of Atlanta. You are one of those artists that have been consistent the longest when it comes to delivering just hit after hit after hit. Uh, with this new EP, Spin the Block, uh, which track is your favorite and which one was your, you know, most fun to actually create in the studio? Um, I had to say Spin the Block and New Season Money because I produced both of them. Mm -hmm. Well, me and Bobby did spend a block, but I did New Season Morning by myself. Okay. And do you have any, like, special collaborations uh, that are on the rise that we can look forward to? Because we know you are the king of the collab as well. <laughs> I got a new project coming out, and I got, um, I, got a, I got a few. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on the rest of them, but I got, like, a good solid five on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. And I love how a lot of times you've been vocal. Speaking about just being in the music business, understanding the business behind the music, which a lot of artists sometimes, you know, that's how they fail. They don't understand the actual business. Let's just talk about Rare Sound, mm -hmm. your creative space, your label, mm -hmm. your clothing brand. You're, you're doing a lot. Let's just talk about, you know, your inspiration behind developing those different entities. Um. I was one of them artists that you talking about that that failed because didn't know the business. You know what I'm saying? I had to um, I had to step in that mud and get right and, and figure it all out. But you know, as you grow in the game, you you understand what this game is, what it's about, and what you gotta do to stay alive in it. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own inspiration and motivation of where they want to be in the game. And I'm trying to be the biggest. I'm I'm looking like you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like I want. Not, I am, you know what I'm saying? The J's, the Diddy's, the, the P's, the P's. And then we got another P in the game now. You know what I'm saying? I, I aspire to be that. So I know what I got to do to do that. And it's a lot of discipline, a lot of learning. You know what I'm saying? Staying down. Of course, delivering the music too, but at the same time, learning this business and everything that comes with it. I love that. Um, what is some advice, I guess, that you would give to an artist during their peak as far as just maintaining and something that, you, I guess, a lesson that you learned along your way? Um, I would say get you a good team, but you don't know who a good team until, you know what I'm saying, shit get dark. That is so true. <laughs> you feel me? Um, get you a good lawyer. Always be a sponge. Always try to learn something. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you're too good to learn something. Always be in tune. Know, know what the youth doing. Always stay in tune with the culture, what's going on. Don't be out of the loop because nobody want to hear that old ass shit. 
you know what I'm saying? Know what know what the girls like, know what the trap like, know what the know what the what the the other folks like. You know what I'm saying? Just stay in tune. I love that. You really do understand your fan base. And when I say I've seen some fans go crazy over you, um, I want to take it back to the parking lot concert. <laughs> parking lot concert. A few years back when we were going through COVID. And um I was there backstage and I and I caught you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I see that I caught your interest, yeah. and also it was one particular crazed fan that was literally chasing you around the parking lot, just like louder than everyone, yeah. screaming yeah. as you were trying to get onto the stage. So it's clear that through your lyrics, your style, you know, the the women they they, they fuck with you, like you said, <laughs> the floaters, the floaters. So I, you know, I I know, I know of some floaters, or I've heard of some floaters. Uh, <laughs> I want to know what that dating life is talking about. What's what's the tea with you and my girl Callie? What? <laughs> <laughs> boo. No, no. Not boo. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was a connection there. <laughs> okay, okay. So no, so no, Callie. So what? 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 You know, I mean, I'm just thinking y'all got the the brown skin, the hair. Y'all got the, you know the the connection right there. <laughs> okay, so do you have an industry bank? <laughs> nah, not at the moment. You know, what I'm saying I'm focusing on myself. I just got out of a relationship probably like a month ago. Oh wow! Just for like two weeks though. <laughs> what the relationship was for two weeks? What's your sign, K Camp? I ever been in my life, huh? What's your What's your sign? I'm a Taurus. You're a Taurus. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm a great guy. You a great guy? I'm a great catch. So, I mean, so what are you looking for when it comes to a relationship? Because I was going to ask you about some of your lyrics. Um, It's hard to say, man. I know what I'm looking for. I just can't find it right now. When I find it, I'll let you know. When you find it, you'll let me know. <laughs> okay, so tonight, any performance surprises, anyone you're going to bring out, or is this solely, solely K-Camp show? Out. Just rocking out, you know what I'm saying? I just woke up out of bed and said, let's go perform and go home. <laughs> so who, who came up with the idea for you to do acoustic set? I, I love whoever came up with this yeah. idea. Uh, shit, that's a good question. They just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you put it together. I, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I was in the city that day, so I was like, shit, let's do it. Let's rock out. We need to get you a tiny desk, too. For sure. I've been, I've been oh. requesting a tiny desk. I need that. I was think I my Atlanta show when I was on tour this year. Yeah. I sold out Center Stay back to back. Yeah. Wild Wild. Yeah, we we, 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 come, we come to everything K Camp, okay? Yeah. We we true to the A. Mm -hmm. Um I'm excited to see you really hit the stage tonight. So with the new project that you just told me you're getting ready to drop, yeah. any features that you can announce that are gonna be on there? I don't wanna spoil it yet. But it's 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 it's, it's the new age. New age. Okay, so that means some newer artists you collaborate with. Newer artists. R&B, uh, rap. Yeah, this, this project ain't really R&B. It's for the streets, for real. It's like club. Just, I got a few R&B songs on there, but it ain't dedicated to that. You know what I'm saying? I'll say that for Kiss 6. I love that. Well, guys, make sure you're locked into everything K-Camp. Jaleesa Raquel, Sheen Magazine. We're on the scene behind the stage and very much unplugged mm -hmm. with the one and only K-Camp. So keep it posted. We'll bring you all the BTS from tonight's show. And congratulations. Looking forward to seeing much more from you. Thank you so much. You could just give us the, uh, a little drop outro. Hey, what's happening, man? It's me, Float. Shout out to Sheen TV. We're in the building. And the beautiful lady right here. Yeah, dig. Thank you so much.